Hi everyone, I'm Julie Gee, the naturalist at Burr Oak State Park. It's hummingbird feeding season. The ruby-throated hummingbirds are back to Ohio and you may already have a hummingbird feeder up. Today I'd like to talk to you about how to maintain a healthy feeding station for hummingbirds. Let's go take a look at the steps that you can take to take care of hummingbirds. The first step is to provide your hummingbirds with good nectar. You'll want to use four parts water to one part sugar. So four cups of water for every cup of sugar. If you're going to make a large amount and store it in a pitcher in the refrigerator, then you should boil your water first before you add the sugar. But if you're making just a small amount to fill up your feeder for that day or for two days, then you do not have to boil the water. Please make sure to use good old table sugar, not honey, not sweet and low, nothing but just pure cane sugar. Also, please don't add any red dye to your nectar. That's actually harmful to hummingbirds. The next step is to clean your feeders on a regular basis so that the sugar water doesn't ferment and form toxic alcohol. Sugar water also can grow bacteria and mold if you don't clean your feeder. This is particularly important during hot weather when you should clean your feeders every two days. To clean your feeders, you'll just need to use hot water with a little bit of either bleach or vinegar added to that hot water. It's great to get a feeder that you can take apart so that you can take special cleaning brushes to get in all of the nooks and the crannies of your feeders to make sure you get out any mold that might be growing in your feeder. After you've rinsed your feeder off from the hot bleach or vinegar water, you'll refill it with nectar and take it outside, which leads to the last step of maintaining a healthy feeding station. That is, if you can hang your feeder in a shady spot, it will really help to prevent that sugar water from fermenting and growing bacteria or mold. Also, if you can hang your feeder where there's a perch nearby for the hummingbirds. They like to come to the feeder, go back to their perch, come back and forth between the feeder and the perch. Now that you know how to maintain a healthy feeding station, keep in mind that the hummingbirds aren't just eating the nectar from your feeder. They're out there eating a ton of small insects and spiders. So, the more flowers that you provide in your landscape, the more insects and spiders that you will have, and the happier your hummingbirds will be. Thanks for joining me today, folks. I will see you next time.